Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans and welcome along to our spoiler epic review of The Rise of the Cyber Moons. <laughs> Stephen. What? I have a question to ask you. You have several, yes? Yes. What happens if you put your hand in a toaster? You die. No, what happens then? You die. But what happens? Bangy bangy electrics. But what happens? You get in the grave. But what happens? Nothing, you just die, there's no afterlife. <laughs> The Cybermen in this episode, and the Cybermen are my one of my favourite Doctor Who enemies. Yes, I like what they do in in this two-parter with how they set them up and stuff. But on the other side of that coin, I actually hate it, and I wish it would die. I feel the same. I, I honestly do feel the same with uh, everything in general with the reboot with the do the Cybermen. Yeah, I've had many arguments with many people that they believe that the Cybermen are, are treated perfectly. They're not. They've no. been shafted so many times. See, here's the thing that I loved about the Cybermen, in the classic series anyway, yeah. was the body horror. Sex Doctor comes straight to mind with his episode. Exactly, but like, it's the fear of death that drives them, and it, it, they, it, they essentially make themselves monsters. Because like, they remove all their emotions and everything, and like, I love that side of it. They have never exploited that in Doctor Who thus far. Meanwhile, in an alternate reality where Iron Man's a bad guy, Especially now, like in today's current climate where everyone's racing to achieve body perfection. Mm. I think there's a great Doctor Who story to be told somewhere there with the Cybermen. Where it's like genetic enhancements and upgrades and everything like that. Like i truly love to see a Cyberman be a full Cyberman because yes they've been suits so far because in the classic series they didn't have the budget so they just put everyone in boiler suits and went oh you've got metal parts. I would love to see something done today that is akin to Bicentennial Man, where they are humans, they look exactly human, but maybe they do the thing they do in this episode where like the, uh, the ears come out, yeah. but like the skin's all fake. So you have these emotional people and a said army goes, they're not human, shoots them and it hits the face and just behind it you see the eye of a Cyber Man. Yeah. Something like, and like that. The, and like maybe it closes back up again. Alright Dave. Shitty Davros. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, even with this, like you, you have oh, yeah, you yeah. have the comparisons with Davros. We have Roger Lloyd oh. Park's character in the chair. Can, can we stop for a minute? I have never seen a villain slowly yeah. say like they are made of me. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Skin of metal. And hit, 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 hit the button. Damn. And a body that will yeah. never age. And, then, that's yeah. it. and you think, okay, you can forgive it for the first time. Fuck, yeah. it does it the entire time. Yeah. It's entire time. It's and just because he's talking to someone in the room and then he has to do his little Skype chat thing. Yeah. It's like, me. Oh, no, but it gets better. He sticks a GoPro on him a second. Yes. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? Man? Hello, YouTube. Today, I'm doing some old man fuckery in my child of wonder. And yeah. then, then the beautiful moment is like, look at my shoes. Yeah, like, this, this shoes. horrible camera shot. Yeah, the low him, angle. Look him, up, yeah. Like he's massive and it just shit. Makes it look like he's got a tiny head. <laughs> Shoot me from this angle, it will hide my double chin. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but feel that if this was the classic series, we would have gotten a full episode dedicated to him. Big time. And Doctor's not in it, Rose isn't in it, Mickey's not in it, it's just him. And it's him looking pathetic, it's mm. him looking weak, but like, you know, like you do that thing where like he's, he's talking to a person and he's like, yes, go and convert people into Cybermen. And he walks out the door or like the Skype call ends up and he goes, <sighs> Oh, you mean like put up front? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> you know, and, and maybe show him like spend a little more time with him and show the decline of his health. Like a vulnerable, or, or like like a vulnerable side. He is fully mental by the end, but he's like, I fear death, there's nothing on the other side. I need to live forever. Oh, get me brain medicine from the National Elf. 
<laughs> if you ever said that to an actual, they would just neuter you. <laughs> they would just put you <laughs> on your cut fuck. your prescription. The scene with the homeless. I like that. I yeah, like. That I, I love that they fooled them. Like this is a soup kitchen and yeah. food. And Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> chippies. We've got chippies. They're not the right chippies. <laughs> oh, they're brain chippies. <laughs> and and I really wish they had like that was dark. Like there was. Yeah. There's nuggets in this. There's little golden nuggets in this. Don't think of it as shit and pigs. <laughs> but like, well, shit and golden nuggets, golden right? Nuggets. Golden shit nuggets. So basically, there's little it's moments hard. in this, but it's just bad. Yeah. Like, they don't get. I think. You I don't, said I, lazy writing. I or don't laziness. Think it's bad. I think it's basic. 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 I, th I think you're basic. <laughs> yes, the doctor thinks you're basic. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge. Move. <laughs> Well, fucking Super Bowl's on. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> it would be amazing if they all went by just going like Goodyear. <laughs> there's one beautiful moment that I really love in this. It shows like there's the people above and there's the scum below. Yeah. Like the the really what I loved was the military basically doing right. We have you you have to have a curfew. But the, but they don't really go into why though. See what I gather from this is that they're all the people at, at below. Our workforce, they're they're the workarounds, yeah. and basically, if so, you're so the, this is the equivalent of uh, the the big the big wigs live in the top of the skyscrapers, the and Cox, and yeah, yeah, and like the the scum live in the basements. Yeah, like this is the next level where it's like, okay, you want to be the big wig, you get your own airship. Yeah, because there is moments in this where they explain where they like uh, Jackie explains to Pete like, oh, I got the latest thing for that lock grade, like you know, like the the, the rich yes, get like the it's diamond and yeah, crusted, yeah. where the people get these small <coughs> hammy diamonds that are like. Like fucking half broken or stuff, yeah. you know. Like I, I don't think it matters because they all look awful. Oh, Jesus! It's like someone shot you in the side of the head with a big BB gun. How do you brace yourself in that fucking thing? Oh yeah, great. The mask come down after the crash. Yeah, so the TARDIS goes explodey boom. No, no, the TARDIS went fuck it. Yeah, no, I'm trying to understand what the hell happened there because like the episode starts off and Ro like Rose and the Doctor are trolling the shit out of Mickey. Like, oh, Back hold, hold, that him. <laughs> hold that button down. It's like, uh, oh, you could have let go like 20 minutes, 29 minutes ago. No, it's sounding like I've been holding this for half an hour and I could have only held it for a minute. Boom. Yeah. Like, what's that, Mickey, the cause that? No, or is it no, just no, no. Shit that happened. So, this is kind of what I've, I always brought it to this is, do you remember in the classic series, uh, they've done this before, there's the. Uh, e Space Trilogy in Tom yes, Baker's thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I believe happened here was, and I, I think they do say it in this episode, is there's there's little cracks in yeah, time. Yeah, little splinters here. And there, the yeah. TARDIS was like, oh, these people are just to, just boring me, like, so boring. Yeah. Basically, it crashed into into the portal and it, it it fell through one of these cracks, which is a little hint to what happens at the end of this series. Yeah, oh. yes, yes, yes. the void, the space yeah, between. Yes, yes. Well, basically, the dark twatted them. Yeah. So. Much. So, yeah, and I like that little bit as well where the Doctor explains that after the Time War, or like during the final days of yes. the Time War or something, like the, the Time Lords sealed off See, all ultimate this realities. this is the lore that I enjoyed that the reboot did until they literally blew all over the walls. That it, it got worse and worse throughout the series. Well, not this series, but the rest of them. But little bits of, of not a lot, just a little bit of like after the war, well, when the war was going on, they closed all realities. I would imagine realities. it's the final days of the war. Fucking dead, TARDIS. Not really dead, if you think about it. Oh, things fuck, mate. <laughs> you new old tonight. Fuck off! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I also like the little piece of lore when it comes to the TARDIS as well, because I didn't realise before those are little gas masks. I just that thought it was like, a, like an airplane thing. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it is. It's basically, yeah. oh Christ, something Here's crashed. Here's your oxygen but mask. <laughs> this is how bad the TARDIS is. Did it crash? Oh, did the people live? Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> I would love to see like an in-flight briefing, you know, like before you take off. <laughs> Welcome aboard this TARDIS trip to the moon. If you look out the left side, you can't because there's no vortex. <laughs> yeah. If you look out the doors, you're fucked. You'll get sucked into the time vortex. <laughs> up some in day, some silly decade yeah. goes doors. <laughs> <laughs> if we crash, it doesn't matter what position you're in. There's nothing to hold on to or brace. You'll die instantly. Yeah. Like, I love the fact that it would brace yourself. Yeah, it's like, brace, brace, brace. What? Nope. Bang. Hit metal. Yeah. Doom, doom. They should have been smooshed. Oh, my knee. <laughs> my fucking knee. 
And also another thing I loved as well that I didn't fully really understand when I first saw this episode is that little like power cell thing that the doctor finds. Oh, my little friend Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I want that. My friend Crystal. <laughs> Hello, my friend's Crystal. She can yeah. beam the shit. Magnetron. It's That's a fucking magnetron. magnetron. Yes, this is a great episode. Yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> this oh, is great. Yeah. yeah. Just end it there. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a mini magnetron. Yeah. Oh, this is great! No, I, in all fairness, uh, this was something that I really loved because there is, like, when you first see it, it's just this little tiny green thing. But when he lifts it out and you look at it, and it like has the mini version of the console. Yeah, it has yeah. the little ring and, and the cord effect. And the crackle effect but on it, yeah. There has to be prop guys out there on this. I searched. <laughs> I searched for years. I've seen them. I've seen them. People have done them. But now? Yeah, people have made them. If anyone in the comment section is kind enough to tell me where, Right. Off you go. Yeah. They're all like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> kill, kill him. Kill, kill him now. now. <laughs> I took a shit. <laughs> I gave him a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is electrocuting you, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Another nice little parallel that you've got between uh, Rose and Mickey is that they find family members that were lost. Mm. And obviously with Rose, we've had that established already with Father's Day, she lost her dad. Yes. And here in this parallel world, her dad's still alive. Not only is he alive, he's the fairy tale version of alive. He made his fortune, all his little funny schemes and tricks worked. He's, he's made his, his money. Mm. With Mickey, who's had no development whenever it comes to his family members, has his granny. A very tragic story. Yeah, where like, she very slipped tragic. and broke her neck. Because like, Rose is kind of, when she's... Ex- Rose explaining it to the doctor kind of like off brand he goes like yeah oh, yes like she was there for when she, she tripped yeah and and whereas imagine if it was Mickey telling that story it would be much more personal but the beautiful moment that they did I do appreciate in this is the emotion when Mickey f- goes is it could it be could she be still alive in this yeah it's what we would do like if we were going to a parallel world we found yeah. out there's family members or friends that you know still alive yeah you, you can't help but go that's the first thing he would do yeah so when he goes and knocks the door She's there, and he, he's 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 blown back by, it and he happen, he's looking at her, and he just a beautiful camera work. He glances and he sees the stir that's broke. Yeah, and he breaks. He yeah, lifts. He goes like, like, like so I I should have fixed that for you. It's even the moment when he closes his eyes, like picturing what happened to his. Yeah, like and you're and he's like, I'm a failure. I, I, I fucked up. I'm I'm nothing. And then the Mickey Snatchers come along. Mickey Snatchers. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's a fresh Mickey on the sidewalk. Fresh Get it meat. Not <laughs> 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 your Mickey. Not another one. Sully's <laughs> <laughs> so Mickey's in part of that world keeps showing up and they keep stealing them. The Wait, we're gonna make an army of Mickeys. <laughs> It'd be the largest Iowa walk. <laughs> I own Iowa's largest Mickey preserve. <laughs> I'm gonna build a platform. <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> and they're all just sitting there gormless and confused. Like, if you have a wait, Mickey. Wait, wait, what's going on? <laughs> if you have a Mickey on the sidewalk, the Mickey Snatchers are there for the your Mickey help. Mickey Snatchers. <laughs> but then later on, when he's kidnapped by Mr. CBBC. <laughs> like, because he was he was a CBBC presenter from back in the day, Andrew Scott. I think his Blue name is. No, he wasn't Blue Peter. He was the guy on CBBC. It was like, and now on CBBC, Rugrats. Oh, he's he one, was, of he was one of those. Yeah. He was he was an in vision continuity mm. announcer. Visible. That's the term. Irrelevant. Arousal. Oh. <laughs> the dick rise. Rough. <laughs> Sexual. But <laughs> abandon this. <laughs> Get fucked. Up. Uh, <laughs> But no, it, it does show how much of a great actor he is. Because, yeah, we get the lovely little scene with his granny. But then you get the scene with the two Mickeys. This is an old clock from fucking kid old hood, motherfucker. I'm a fucking London gangster, you <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I just shoot you. Yeah. Oh. And a lot of people watching this, and it's very easy to look at it this way, they see it as two different actors. But it's yeah. the same actor, and I, I again I love the way that like our Mickey and motherfucker Mickey are composited together in the same shots. It's seamless at points. Like yeah, you can notice very it very little, you very can, subtle. You can notice it in the scenes where he's walking around the back. 
Yes, yeah, so light chair. that fucks with the. You know, when he, you can see him, you can just see a little bit of green, just yeah. tiny bit, but not it's like, but it, it looks pretty good. But there's there's one scene at the end. Do you know where they all finally get back together again? Yeah, the two yeah. Mickey's are there and they're taking on the Cybermen. It's seamless. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Because you have our Mickey at the, the side of the camera, then you have Rose, and then another Mickey there. The whole aspect of them being able to control people is kind of messed up too, because like mm. you have the bit where um, I'm just going to call him Trigger. Uh, t- like, Trigger takes over Jackie, and yes. like you get the little bit where it connects and stuff, and that's done really well. And the bit where like they all stop in the middle of the street. That ah, fuck with me, dude. When I watch this for the first time, you know when you're you're watching an episode of Doctor Who or anything at all, and you're not really paying attention, I was actually texting in the middle of it, and I look up, it's like, my my TV break? Shit, fuck. (laughs) Then I seen Rose and Doctor Who, I was like, oh, what? What the hell is this? But imagine, that scares me still to this day, that if if humanity gets too out of control, that's the shit that that we could be... That's our future. Imagine imagine Parliament, imagine the government have that control. I don't want to. But just say that, like, ah, fuck it. Be one button and you're all like, yeah, we must vote for this one. <laughs> hey, who says that's not the case already? Ah, uh, ooh. Mm. Conspiracy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, um, and again, as you were saying, like with these versions of the Cybermen, again, we don't really get to see them a lot in this episode. We can talk about them more next yes. time around. Yeah. That episode's on Patreon right now, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube. <laughs> all it takes is a dollar. Just one dollar. Mm. That's 77p. That's nothing per month. It is essentially them trying to do Genesis of the Daleks with the Cybermen. But really badly rushed. And they screw it up. Something yeah. royal. But and I mean, this is even well before the likes of World Enough and Time, where that was touted as being the Genesis of the Daleks for Cybermen. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is the same thing. Like, you have an old cripple who's a genius <laughs> in his wheelchair, yeah. who's clearly mental, yeah. going, I'm going to create it machines for peop- my people to live in forever and they'll fight and it'll be great <laughs> oh wonder juice and then I'll go mental you know like that's Davros it's a shit Davros that's, it's a shit Davros and Shavros <laughs> no it's slow fuck it's yeah. like slow fuck we're going to shake your hand <laughs> No, That's not Angie. No, friendos. No, friendos. Ah, oh, fuck, it's over. <laughs> Will he make friends? Stay tuned. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the doctor tries to do his ultimate thing. I talk to them. I don't yeah. stop. Shit. They didn't stop. Who cares? Oh, my God. They want to be friends! And, and I love how it starts as well with the, uh, who is it? Is it the mayor or something? Oh, yes, he's the mayor of, of, of Yeah, um, like Great the Britain. old guy that keeps going like, what happened? Yes, he's like the, he's, what like, happened? he's like the mayor of, or the president. <laughs> is he the, the president? Yeah, he's the president he's of, the of, of, mayor of our souls. <laughs> he's the mayor of our souls. Oh, you're right, he's the president, president of the United, of United Kingdom. Kingdom. Yes. Because America has a prime minister. Yes. Because this is topsy-turvy <laughs> now! <laughs> Oh, the only thing wacky is the politics. <laughs> <Ba-ba-ba>. <laughs> Just like our reality. Oh. Oh, what a mess. But anyway, yeah. So, like, I like how it starts with him. Where he, he goes, has like, the what balls. Him? Yeah. Like, no, come on. You have to give this man some credit. A fucking ma- metal man bashes through windows. Yeah. And you're like, oh, shit. You will be incompatible. The fuck did you say to me? <laughs> <laughs> Head cock and everything. Like, I will fuck your shit up. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, the fact is, he went right up to the fucker. Yeah. It's like, I don't give a fuck what you are. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that's bald, man. Like, I will bash your metal brains in for, I am the president of the United I States I would have fucking loved London. if he had put his fist through the Cyberman, yeah. ripped out with a gun. Like a metal boot, heart. And yeah. crushed it in the old day. He's like, right, motherfuckers, I want my food. <laughs> and that's how you become the president, president of, of London <laughs> town. <laughs> Everyone just back, everyone just backs the fuck like, away. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought he was no fuck. You will be you will be punished by maximum deletion. So but this is surrender! But I'm surrendering! Do you know what I would love to do? See if YouTube wasn't such a bastard whenever it comes to copyright. I would take that scene and just put it on a fucking loop for ten minutes. But oh. this is a surrender! 
fuck you, man. <laughs> there are stickheads that do yeah. a ten minute you long shit. Deleted. But we're surrendering! And then there'll be the remix. This is surrender! This yeah. is surrender! Surrender, 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 surrender! Like it's closer, closer to the screen. Yeah. And then fucking LED lights and you're like, but this is a surrender, 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 this is a surrender, surrender, surrender. Yeah, yes, yeah, some fuckers gonna do that. Dully, dully, but this is a surrender! <laughs> Apparently there's a green building here somewhere. A green building? Might be in the next episode, but Owen told me to point it out. Because that's where he passed his driving test. Oh, shit! This, this was shot in his hometown. What, the Mickey Snatchers are from The Mickey Snatchers are from Owen, so it's like, fuck, he's called Owen. <laughs> Although Owen is Welsh from Mickey, so... Is it? Yes. Oh, fuck. I don't know. You're just making shit up now. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. For the purposes of comedy. I liked it. I loved it. But I hated it. Yeah. So, I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what am I for? I, yeah. I, I like think, what happens in what? it, but it's all too quick. Yeah. And they kind of butcher the Cybermen a little bit for me. Like, the designs of the costume and stuff's great. It's all, like, big and clunky and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But as a, as a first-generation Cyberman, I'll buy it. Yeah. I just wish this design hadn't stuck around so long. Like, imagine this version of a Cyberman, but just streamlined. Did, there was a rumour years ago that, that the these are parallel, obviously the parallel Cybermen, but our Cybermen are completely different. And then they went, ah, oh, fuck, we don't have the budget. Fuck it, we'll just take the C yeah. away and stick the panel on. It was bullshit. My problem with the Cybermen in the reboot of Doctor Who in general, including these ones is they look like people in suits. Yeah, they, they look like a suit. You can see when in these ones were like you know like obviously they put the skin around like the wires and that's to cover up the, yeah, the flesh. Yeah. But there's moments when they're moving that this wobbles and stuff. And you're like, uh, yeah. I just I wish and especially whenever they do the Nightmare and Silver Cybermen, oh, fuck. they look like Iron Man suits. Yeah, they're, they don't a joke. Was it you? I, yeah, I kept doing the fucking joke. Yeah, but was it like, you? I kept calling them. Or, Iron no, Man. you put a picture up on on your Facebook thing where you got like a, a re, like someone had or either you or someone like painted had, Iron like, Man colors. Like photoshopped colored. it, Iron Man colors. I was yeah. like, oh fuck me! But they don't, they've got arc reactors. You know, I, they have yeah. rocket boots. Yeah, they're Iron Man. The, but the thing they, is, like they they look. Oh my god, they're even they're the fuck with forty two because the fucking arms and hands and shit were running around. Yeah. Motherfuckers, they're all for Iron Man. You know, the best is the, the, the net. No, no, that's the original design. Yeah, but Bullshit. Yeah, no, they, they look like people in suits. Yeah. Whereas, I think if you're going to bring the Cybermen back, have them be basically humans that are made of metal. Like, don't, don't do the thing where it's like panels. Do the thing where it's like, yeah, it looks like skin. Yes. But it's, it's but metal. You know one th oh, yeah, that's right, Rose is the dog. That's fucking great, because she's a bitch in health. And yes, yes, finally, <laughs> finally, even Doctor Who's a minute, she's a cock. I will give this a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, yes, yeah. Yes, in all fairness, like, looking back at this, I was walking in this going, fuck, I'm going to hate this, because I have so much love for the Cybermen. <sighs> but I like, I okay, I'm, not, I'm explaining this, re the reason why I like this is because... See that you do. Yes, yes. Mickey really gets a moment like uh, Mickey's balls dropping this yeah the, the and, second one goes clank and then it's like and he's and I love he fucks with the doctor too like there's the one moment where he's like you, who are you going to chase after you're not going to chase me and basically the doctor's like you're irrelevant I'm going to chase the, 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 exactly, the blonde plat yeah. you know where he goes off and goes off and goes well I'm going to go and find something for myself I don't have to follow you I yeah. can do my own thing the, there's moment. There's also moments in this. One moment in particular, I really love it, and I can never listen to that song because it fucks me up. Is in the, in the, the jungle, yeah. like I'm which, which by the way, has the single worst piece of CGI I've ever seen. Oh, the CGI and it didn't gets hold up. Worse yes. in the next episode, as but well. I that, do that weird furnacey thing yeah, with the saw blades. Yeah. I, but I do love the fact if you if you throw the shitty scythe like the, the special effects away. It's so dark that this thing scoops and rips apart a person because you have to, in your imagination, that's a human being put into that shell. Yeah. It's it held up for me, and I'm and, I, and I'm actually really happy. I walk away with this and really happy that it, it held up. For me, I'm gonna go seven. Ooh, I'm I'm going for a seven out of ten. Um, I like the majority of it. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact that I kind of hate it as well. Now, are you giving this score because you hate it, or are you giving it because you're actually breaking, like, your... your I'm, I'm breaking it down, I'm okay, breaking it okay. down. Um, love the stuff with Mickey, hate the stuff with Rose, uh -huh. love the stuff with uh, Rose's dad and Jackie, I think that's set up really nicely. 
Uh, I like the ideas that they have in it whenever it comes to the cyber industry stuff, yes, yes. Uh, the villains class as well. Uh, Mickey, Mickey is the unsung hero of this episode. Yeah, yeah. Everything he does is fantastic from going, right, that's it, I've had enough of your shit. Yeah. Stop trolling with me. I'm, I've come along. I've I'm tried to be. Too. I've tried to be your your friend here, Doctor. I'm trying to work it out with Rose, and the two of you are just fucking off and leaving me behind. And I think it was in that moment, whenever the Doctor chose to run off after Rose, yeah. Mickey. That's that broke Mickey. But if you think about it this way, it's like Rose has done that all this entire time. Now the Doctor's done. He's like, well, then I know yeah, what I like, am. I'm irrelevant. I know where I stand. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Technically, you're not my daughter. You're from an alternate no, world. No. Yes, our children would still be monsters. Though, but <laughs> but so, nine out of ten for Anthony. Power! Oh, nine out of ten. Power! Oh, I turned it blue. Oh, no. Did you want it blue? Ah, yeah, keep it blue. Okay, there we go. What about you? Christ. Um, oh, that's neon blue, dude. Like. I know. My eyes. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, what did I go for? Seven out of ten. Yes. Yes. Oh shit! I can't There we go. Seven, seven out of ten for me. And I think I will go green like green screen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, thanks very much for watching this absolute horse shit. Um, <laughs> we, will, we love you. <laughs> we will be back next week with our review of The Age of Steel. I thought you were about to say The Age of Steve. <laughs> the Age of Adeline. No, that's a movie. Oh, that's but a good movie. That's, that's a good movie, movie. yeah. yeah. Harrison Paws, that's fucking wild. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in the meantime, support us on Patreon. You'll get the next episode. Blah, like that. And all the juicy bits. And jam and stuff. Well, and not spiders. jam, but you know, it's metaphorical, like your heart. But Anyway, yeah, pigeons. Right, uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs>